Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today we will create table view in Xcode 11 and Swift 5. This tutorial should work with Xcode 10 and Swift 4 as well. If you don't know what table view is, the most basic app which uses table view is your context app on iPhone. Uh, so it's just basically bunch of similar kind of data like stacked together. A uh, more complex app will be a Facebook feed or your music app like Spotify or music app by Apple. Um, the thing with Facebook feed is all the feeds have the same layout, like all the feed will have a like option, a comment option. The only thing which changes is the data. So uh, today we will start with the most basic one, but table views are highly customizable and another thing which you can notice it's uh, it's like it's already embedded with scroll view so you don't need to worry about that uh, as the data grows like you can keep scrolling so let's get on to it uh, i'll fire up my xcode and we'll create something like this uh, this is the test project which i created like bunch of animals in table view uh, so create a new xcode project it will be a single view app and hit next. So product name will be simple table view. Another thing, uh, make sure you type like simple table view or like easy table view or something. Just table view might clash with Swift library and make sure your language is Swift. User interface will be storyboard and hit next. Uh, save it wherever you like. I will save it under recording and hit create. So we will start with the main dot storyboard. Let me just run the app on iPhone 11 so we don't waste time uh, further down the line. So this will keep building up. So let's jump over to main dot storyboard and I will make this full screen. And first we will drag and drop a table view from the object library and put it here. And let's give it some constraints. So select the table view and this will be zero from top, zero from left, zero from right, and zero from the bottom, and hit add. So it should pop, uh, like expand automatically. The next thing we will do is we need a prototype cell. So prototype cell is like a prototype which you can replicate multiple times. So I'll just hit one for now, and uh, you will do it here, like in the attribute inspector, make sure your attribute inspector is selected and under prototype cell just hit one and you will see this which says like prototype cell so we need to name this cell so that we can use it in the code so make sure you select your table view here and under identifier once again under attribute inspector identifier will be animal cell and hit enter make sure you hit enter otherwise it won't get the name uh, the next thing we will do is link our table view with our code. So uh, open up your assistant editor and control. Uh, make sure you click your table view and control drag here. And we will name it animal table view and hit connect. So we are done with the storyboard part. Uh, all we need to do is just code. So I will close this and hop over to view controller and close this as well. So first thing we need to do is we need to assign delegate and data source. Uh, this just means that all the interactions and the data are, so data is supposed to be like uh, fed by this class view controller and all the actions on the table view are controlled by view controller class as well. So we will assign delegate first. So animal table view dot delegate is equal to self and animal table view dot data source will be self as well and now we need to create one extension so here we will say extension uh, the reason we do is just like code is readable and easier to operate uh, easier to handle when your your app gets bigger or something so view controller and this will be ui table view delegate and another will be ui table view data source so here, uh, one of the delegate method which we will be using is did select. So 
uh, this is table view did select row at index path and for now just let's print out uh, you selected one of the cell and so uh, for delegate uh, this function is part of the delegate and this error is because of uh, in order to conform to the protocol ui table view data source we need to do two methods so first is number of rows so number of rows in section and this we will for now just return three let's do five uh, six is fine and another uh, method which we need is cell for row at index path and here we will create a cell object so let's cell equal to and we will use name of our table view which we assign here our variable name and hit period and dq reusable cell with identifier for index path and this identifier with, will be same as the identifier which we assigned in the storyboard so this will be animal cell and index path will be just index path which will come from here next thing we will do is just return the cell and so for now let's just run the app and just see let's see what happens okay so this is our app you will see bunch of lines but we still don't see the data so what we can do is here uh, this is still a very basic cell and this cell comes with a text label so we can add some text label dot text and I am a cell and let's run the app again uh, with this data and now we will be now we can see a bunch of I'm a cell stuff so this is still like a static data we need a way to add a dynamic data so we will add dynamic data from an array um, and the reason we can see six of them is because of this so if i change it to like 16 and run again so we will see 16 and once again this is still static and so let's go ahead and make it dynamic so we need a array variable so this will be animals and this will be an array uh, let's start with uh, dog and we can say cat and lion and monkey uh, let's say donkey and we can say a human uh, and let's just goldfish you know I know it's not animal but who cares you know and here we are so in order to make uh, get data from here first of all we need to assign the number of rows so this will be animals uh, this is our variable name for our array so animals.count and here we will change the label to uh, we can say animals and here we will get index path dot row so this will tell like on the first row display the first animal and let's run the app and see what happens and now we can see a bunch of animals and a goldfish um, another thing which we so if we tap on one of the cell uh, we can see on the console that we you selected one of the cell uh, we can make this dynamic as well so let's change it to uh, i will use string interpolation in this and here we will do the same thing as the cell part this will be index path dot row and let's run the app again and this time we can see our selected animal so let's select dog first monkey second and human third and on the console we can see you selected a dog you selected monkey you selected human so that's it this is the most basic uh, explanation or prototype of using a table view uh, but it does can get more complex than this uh, so stay tuned for future videos if you have any questions post them in comments if you like this video make sure to hit like button and subscribe for future content until next time